This recipe is proudly brought to you by Malaysia Kitchen. Usually when you're making laksa from scratch, you need lots of ingredients and a little bit of time. But Jackie M's here to show us that she can do it in 15 minutes. You're a Malaysian specialist. I mean, yep. you know how to cook delicious food. So you know what? Your time starts now, 15 minutes to um, make laksa. <laughs> I'm on it. OK, so we've got some oil. I'm going yep. to heat some oil up. We're going to cheat a little bit. Now, if I can get you to help me just um, blend the dry shrimp. We've sure. got some dry shrimp here that's been soaked in some hot water. Mm -hmm. And we just need to mince that up. Okay. And in the meantime, I've got some chilli paste here. This is just sambal ole. Yep. OK, usually I would use a chilli paste. And you can do that as well. The, the shrimp. Tell us, where can we get this from? Have a look at Asian grocery stores, you know, mm -hmm. and you should be able to find them quite easily. All right. Fabulous. That should be it. Happy with that? Great, yeah. So I've got the chilli and I've got the fried onion in there. I'm going to throw in some garlic. Mm -hmm. OK. Ooh, it's starting and to smell really good, isn't it? Yeah. And turmeric. Just this, just turmeric powder. You can keep it in your pantry for months and months. Yeah. So very easy. Mm. And we're going to toss in the dried shrimp as well. A lot of us, when we think of Malaysian food, I'm sure the top answer would have to be a laksa soup. To me, it really just symbolises what Malaysian food is all about. So it's like a total fusion. Yeah. So we've got that so far. I'm going to throw in some uh, shrimp paste here. Mm -hmm. OK. And shrimp paste, you know, it's used in a lot of different cuisines, so you should be able to find it quite easily. Absolutely. Especially Southeast Asian uh, grocery stores. Yep. OK. Um, can I get you a mince some galangal for mm -hmm. me? Now, that's fresh galangal. If you can't find fresh galangal, you can try and get galangal powder as well. OK, just frying this up. I want to add a little bit more oil to this because laksa really should have a nice uh, layer of oil it does. on top. It's yeah. marbled with, 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 that's right. with oil. That's right. And how much of the galangal are we? OK, we need about a tablespoon. That yep, there. that should be it. Let's throw that in. Mm. OK, I'm going to toss a little bit more fried onion in there. Now, this paste, you can make it and then store it in a jar and keep it in your fridge. Right. And then just dish it out when you want. I'm going to throw in some salt mm -hmm. and a bit of sugar. OK. And that's it. Now we're going to transfer this into some a, a pan with some chicken chicken stock. stock in there. Okay. You can just use water if you've yeah. only got water. Yeah. Because we've got all those concentrated flavours that yeah. are in that uh, paste that we've made. That's right. That's right. Mm. Yeah. And to that, I'm going to add some coconut cream. And if you can, uh, we've got some tofu puffs over there. If yes. you can just uh, half them for me, that'd be fabulous. I've had Australians complain to me that the tofu tastes a bit spongy. It's meant to taste spongy, <laughs> you know. And there are different textures in a laksa. You've got those crunchy um, shallots on the top. You've got the puffs yep. there, noodles, yep. different um, meats. Over here, we've got not only prawns, yep. but chicken. That's right, that's right. We've got them pre poached but if I can get you to slice up the chicken, they'll be fabulous. Absolutely. And we're using some cucumber, and we're going to cut them matchstick um, size. Mm -hmm. And that's a very uniquely Nyonya style to Absolutely, lasa, yes. yeah. Mm. So there's your chicken, and I'm going to get straight onto that. Yeah. And I've got uh, some water boiling over here. Mm -hmm. Now, some people like to throw their noodles straight into the laksa stock, and that's fine. I like to keep it a little bit separate because I don't want to change the flavour of the soup too much. Mm -hmm. So I've got the water going here. And we've got some rice noodles, or these are called rice vermicelli, or sometimes it's labelled as rice sticks at Asian grocery stores. Mm -hmm. And we've just soaked this for about 10 minutes in some hot water. So it's soft, but not quite uh, soft enough to eat straight out. Yep. So we're just going to blanch it very, very quickly in this pot of boiling water. I'm just going to dish out the noodles. How am I going for time, Justine? I think <laughs> you're way ahead of time. Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> It really, you, you have shown, demystified uh, the long process of making a laksa. You can do it as long as you've got some good quality chicken stock. Yeah. And you've got these ingredients, just putting it all together. Totally. Mm. And there's not too much chopping going on either because we've done the shallots, they're already yeah. done. I know. <laughs> That's the a paste, huge The chilli paste is already done for you. OK, so I've just got the bean sprouts. Just toss it in the water and just really count to five and take it out. Okay. Don't boil it for too long. And we've, we're just going to throw the chicken and the seafood mm -hmm. in there just to heat it through. Yep. Oops. And you can do this, you know, ahead of time. 
know what, Jackie? This would be nice to um, start a dinner party. Small little bowls, yeah. beautiful prawn, a little bit of chicken there, that lovely broth. So we've got the prawns here and the chicken slices. Okay. And all we want to do now, I've just got the soup simmering here. I'm just going to turn this off and it's ready. So let's dish this out. So fast. And then we'll top it up with all the garnishes. It gets quite thick because of the dried shrimp, mm. but you know, you can strain it out a little bit if you want. I can't believe that's just taken 15 minutes. I know, right? Mm. Yeah. Like I said, you know, if you keep your laksa paste in the fridge, you can do it in five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So let's throw in the all the garnishes. The yeah, we'll throw in half a boiled egg in there, okay, so and some laksa leaves, and we'll toss in the cucumber. So just. Just yeah, there. fabulous. So it just yeah, goes just yeah, just a, a bunch of them there. Yeah, great. Just a few of those. There you go. And let's slice up some chili. Fabulous. And you can just throw it over the top. My local uh, Malaysian restaurant oh. does a laksa. Yeah. You know what? I think yours looks better than this. Oh, don't tell them that. <laughs> I won't tell them that. But I would love to have a taste okay, of this sure. broth that you've made sure. in a speedy time. Yep. I didn't measure anything, by the way, so don't hold it, hold it against me. <laughs> 10 out of right. 10. Yep. Fabulous. Absolutely. 10 out of 10. That is a really <laughs> delicious luxa. This is a really nice winter dish, I think. Fabulous. Yeah, I agree. You. No Yummy. problems. <laughs>